Section 2, two towns A and B are 400 kilometers apart. A motorcyclist traveling at an average speed of 60 kilometers per hour left town A for town B at 1.20 p.m. A matatu traveling at an average speed of 80 kilometers left town A from town B at... So, ukiona hapa, these two, uh, the motorist and the, and the matatu, they are moving towards the same direction. So, this is A, this is B. So, this is the motorist, motor, and then we have A, we have B, and this is the matatu. The matatu, uh, the motorist starts at 1.2 p.m. And the motorist starts at 2, the matatu starts at 2 p.m. The distance between A and B is? 400 kilometers when vehicles or when uh, a motorist and a vehicle are moving or toward the same direction they are moving to the same uh, town like a to this and we want to get the time they took to overtake each other we use relative speed and the relative their relative speed is the subtraction of their relative speed their uh, their speed you subtract. Calculate the distance covered by the motor cyclist by 2 p.m. So the motorist remember started at 1.30. So by 2 p.m. we want to get the time uh, taken up to one time. So that is 2 p.m. That is 14.00. You subtract 13.20. You can use this one. You borrow one here, and that is 66 minus that is 40. So from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., we have 40 minutes. Now we want to get the distance the motorist requirement travel before the matatu started. So distance is equal to time times the speed. The speed for the motorcycle was 60. So the time is 40 divided by 60 because this time now is in hours this was in minutes times 60 which is the speed of the motorist and this one will give us 40 kilometers so before the matatu started at 2 pm the motorist had traveled 40 kilometers wakati hii eh, matatu inaanza sanane motorist alikuwa amekava 40 kilometers 40 kilometers. Calculate the distance from town A in kilometers where the matatu caught up with the motorcyclist. For the matatu and the motor to for the matatu to catch up with the the motor the motorist, uh, the distance between them is the distance from here. Oh no, no, motorist in the up. Like in matatu ndio in up. So the distance between them ni he. E 40, kutoka A mbaka hapa, mbaka hapa malimefika 40, your distance 40 kilometers is the distance between them. So we are going to use that one as the distance between the two bodies. Time taken to catch, to catch up is given by distance. between the bodies divided by relative speed. Since they are moving toward the same point, they are not going to meet. One is supposed to overtake another one. They are running on the same direction. Therefore, the relative speed we subtract here, you subtract the relative speed, subtract their speed. So this one, the distance between them is 40, and then the relative speed is 80 minus 60. So this one is 40 divided by 20. And so it will take two hours. It will take two hours for the matatu to, to, over, to, to catch up 
or to overtake the the motorist it will take two hours but the question is asking calculate the distance so from where the matter to cut uh, the distance so distance is equal to we know distance is equal to speed times time now the distance from a now distance from a is equal to we can now use the p which is the matatu speed which is 80 times 2 and that one will give us 160 kilometer the distance from a to where the 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 the, the, the matatu caught up with the motorist is 60 160 kilometers you can as well do it in a different way but because of time let me leave it so that is the time that is the speed the distance Calculated the time when the matatu caught up with the motorist. At what time did the matatu caught up? Remember, the matatu started at 2 p.m. It took two hours to catch up with the motorist, so you add two hours. This one is 4 0 p.m. So the matatu caught up with the motorist, the motorcyclist, at 4 p.m. A road traveling at an average speed of 40 kilometers per hour left town B from town A at 2 p.m. Determine the time when the road and the matter to met. Now, this one, now this is the example where they are going to meet. This is the matter to coming from A at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour. It is started at 2 p.m p.m. There is another now, another uh, we, a rory is coming from P at an average speed of 40 kilometers per hour and it has started at also 2 p.m. They have started at the same time. So where are they going to meet? So to get the distance or the time taken for them to meet, we add the, to, to get the relative speed, we get the addition, you add the individual speed. And then, the, both of them, they started at the same time. So, hakuna yenye mehenda, mbere, katangulia nyingine. Hakuna kwa hivyo, the distance between them remains 400 kilometers. The distance between here and na hii, the distance between them is 400. So, uh, calculate, tell me the time. We know that time, the time they meet, time taken to meet, equal to distance between the two bodies the two bodies divided by their relative speed the distance between them is four kilometers the relative speed is 80 plus 40 and this one will give us 400 divided by 120 and this one will give us three and a half hours so we determine the time when the two, the, the Rory and the mother to make the time. This is the time they took, but at what time did they meet? If they started as a nanny, so we add that is two, you add the 320. This one is 320. So they met at 5.20 p.m. That is the time they met. On the following grid triangle, PQR is drawn. So PQR has been drawn for us. On the same grid draw triangle, P prime one, Q prime one, R Q prime. The image of this one, the object in the object under a reflection Y is equal to zero. A reflection Y is equal to zero simply means the X axis. Because when we have this Cartesian plane, this is the x and this is y. Here, this is where y is zero, and that is the x-axis. So this is the x-axis. It has been indicated here, the x-axis, and this is the y-axis. We know if this is the mirror, this q, the distance from the, 
Temira, this is going to be Temira. The distance from Temira to the object will be equal to the distance from Temira to the image. So how many units are there? One, two. So one, two. Here we will have Q prime one. Uh, from here we will have one, two, three, four. So we will have one, two, three, four. Here, here we will have R prime one. And then two units one here we will have um, so p is going to be one two three four so one two three four here so this is p prime you take your ruler and then you you connect these points like this connect pq like that and then connect q uh, prime one r prime one like this like that so we have done that and so we have obtained our two marks roman two triangle uh, P prime 2, uh, Q prime 2, R prime 2 is the image of this under an enlargement scale factor negative 1.5 center 0, 0. So now draw the li dotted line from P prime 1 through the origin because the, 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 enlarge the enlargement is done through the origin. Just draw that one towards that side draw a dotted line like this draw a dotted line from q to q prime 2 we don't know where it is but we will get make sure it is at the center like this so draw the dotted line draw a dotted line and then finally from q to the, the other side through the origin that is zero zero here we put this one here and then draw like that so since it is one and a half so we will measure from here from Q to the origin, that is one. So to the other side, it, it is going to be one and a half. So we measure one here and a half. So you see one is, it is one, two, three, four, four squares. So a half is going to be two squares, one, two. So you realize that here we will have Q prime two. Again, you measure the same from R to the center, to the center zero, zero. And it's going to be now here twice. So once in Yapa, now is only how many units? One, two, three, four. Koivo, Nusuyake, a four, one, two. So it means here we will have our R prime two. And then finally, P. You measure from P to the center, which is one. That is this case once. So we go that is once up to here. Twice it acquired these two units. Therefore, our, our P prime two is there. So what you do now, you join these points here, that and that. You have that figure now. So we have drawn this one. Our three marks is intact. Uh, on the same red draw triangle, P, which is going to be this, and it is the image of this under a half turn at origin, a half turn. So a half turn, that is 180, because that is a half, a quarter turn. We have a quarter turn, a half turn, uh, like that. So we are going to rotate it at, true origin 
So we are going to rotate this one to get Q prime 3, a half turn. A half turn that is 180 degrees. So ikikuja hivi mara moja hapa ni 90. So itakuja mpaka hapa. Ndiyo tufike 180. Hata ukienda hapa ni 90. Ukikuja mpaka hapa eh, pado ni 180. So ndiyo mana ukona wako sema positive or negative. Because whether it is negative, whether it is positive, eh, it, the image is going to be on this side here. So how do you locate the image? This image and the Q prime 3, they are going to be the same distance from the origin. So you just now extend this line and then measure uh, as I'm going to do it here. Just extend these lines. Extend these lines like this. Extend also this one. This line here. Extend it. Don't bother where it is going to. Also extend this line Q here. Like this. Like that. So uh, the Q3, which is the image of this, should be the same distance from here. Actually from here. And this is a P. So here is going to be the same distance from here up to here. So P prime 3 is here. P prime 3 is going to be there. Also measure the distance from origin. to R and bring it down here up to here. So it's going to be here. This is a R prime three. Then Q prime three, you measure the same distance from here, Q, Q, Q up to here. No, from here, sorry up to this point here it will be the same from there up to this point so it is here this is q uh, prime three so you join the points like i have joined now we will have r prime three q prime three and p prime three and this is it has been rotated 190 degrees all this way it is that way Describe a single transformation, a single transformation that maps Q prime triangle P one P prime one Q prime one two Q prime uh, Q P prime three Q prime three a single matrix. So we look at this one. So which one will translate this one up to this to this one? It is an enlargement. You can see it is an enlargement. But this one. It is a positive. So when you measure the distance from here up to here, that's one. And from here up to here, it is one and a half. So actually, the translation is going to be uh, enlargement uh, scale factor. Post 1.5, 1.5, center, 0, 0, center, 0, 0. The following figure shows a right pyramid. The base ABCD of the pyramid is a square of 8 cm, you can see. The length of the slanting phi a this all these are ten so every, all of the these are ten centimeters all of them even the other one on the other side which is dotted. So the question the first question is calculate the vertical height of the pyramid correct to two decimal places. So the first thing you do you draw the diagonals of this square here so that you can get where the height lies. You do that. You also draw this from here up to there. So the height VO, we can give this one as VO. So it, you drop it from up there, 
this is the vertical height right remember this one meets here at 90 degrees this one also is 90 degrees you should know that so first we get ac we find ac ac we repeat this square this square so we get the square root and that is all so this one is equal to the square i'm going straight 80 square plus 80 square will give us uh, if this we get the square root of this we get the answer here and that answer is going to be 1.3111.3 1 centimeters to two decimal places kwa hivyo nimepata kutoka hapa mpaka hapa lakini ninataka remember kutoka hapa mpaka hapa na kutoka hapa mpaka hapa inatoshana sawa so, because this is a square the next thing so let me now get so from here up to here from here up to result is not ocean so if i want for example ob ob is going to be ob is going to be 11.31 divided by 2 and that one is going to be 5.5 .5, uh, 5.657 so from here up to here is that so what i can do now i can extract the right angle triangle this one which is this where this is v this is o and this is b uh, here is 5.657 we are looking for this O V the height, the height, but this round height, this round height here is ten. Is ten centimeters. So using Pythagoras theorem, we can get the value of H. So H is going to be the square root of the hypotenuse that square minus the base square, which is five point six five seven square. And the H is going to be uh, 68 square root. And the H is going to be 8.25 centimeters, uh, sorry, centimeters. So H, the vertical height is 8.25 centimeters. Calculate the service area of the pyramid. To calculate the service area of the pyramid, we get the area of the base uh, square, and then, then we calculate the area of these faces. We calculate one face, then we multiply times four. This, 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 that, and this one, four. So first, we calculate. We draw this one face. So I have drawn one face, whereby the slant height, this one is 10 centimeter, and this one is 10 centimeter. But from here up to here is 8 centimeter, meaning if I drop a perpendicular height here, if I drop a perpendicular height here, I will have this one as the right angle triangle, and this is 4, uh, this one is going to be 4. Right? So I will use these relations to, to get the height here. So H is equal to i will use this and this the square root of 10 square minus 4 square so the height here is going to be the square root uh, of square root 84 and the h is equal to 9.17 centimeters now this is the triangle uh, this is one face. Nimepata height yao. So what I will do, I will now use the formula I have base times H. So I have times base, which is 8, times height, which is 9.17. That is one face. But a pyramid has got how many faces? Four. This face, yoni moja, kuna yona, kuna yoni. So, and then this is one face. I will multiply times four faces. 
and this one will give me a total of 146.64 centimeters square so you need area this is the area of the faces around now the area of the base is equal to 8 times 8 because this is a square 8 times 8 now total area is equal to 64 plus 146.64 and this one will be 210.64 centimeters square that is the area of the pyramid the volume of the pyramid volume of the pyramid is given by 1 over 3 uh, times the base area base area times height times height so this is the same as 1 over 3 times the base area base area is 64 which is 8 times in your base area this is the base area which is 64 that is 8 times 8 times the height vertical height the one we calculated the vertical height and that one is 8.25 that one will give us 176 centimeters cube and that is the volume of that pyramid you get your 10 marks you love going home Number 20, Nehema went, Nehema went to the market to buy bananas worth the Kenya shilling 2100 for a school. The seller offered a discount of Kenya shilling 3 per banana, which enabled Nehema to buy 35 more bananas. Taking Kenya shillings X as the price per banana before discount, write an expression for the number of bananas that Nehema bought, would you have bought before the discount? Uh, so the total Kenya shillings in Nehema had was Kenya shillings 2100. And she was supposed now to buy X bananas. Uh, if, the, if one banana is equal to X shillings, then this is the total shillings we divide by X. We find the number, remember X is, uh, X is the price for one banana. So if she had 2100, it is 2100 minus divided by this, we get the price for each banana. Uh, we get the number of bananas. So 21 divided by x, because each banana is x. So we will get 2100 over x. These are the number of bananas. That is the number of bananas. Actual number of bananas that Nehemiah bought after the discount. The discount was a subtraction of x uh, three shillings from x. So the actual the total amount we she had is twenty one hundred. Instead of buying x, uh, instead of buying one banana using x shillings, the, she got a discount of three shillings. So the subtraction of three. So this one divided by this will give us the number of bananas she bought but she put 35 more bananas 35 more bananas so by this one she put 35 more bananas actually this is the total number of bananas she could buy 35 this 35 included from an equation in form an equation in terms of x and hence determine the actual number of bananas nehema uh, bought Wakati alinunua alitumia hii baada ya kutolewa hii discount hapa hii ya shilingi 3 alinunua 35 uh, bananas more meaning that uh, meaning that this one divided by x minus 3 kwa sababu hizi zilikuwa more bananas remember this is the number of bananas so these bananas, when you subtract the original bananas, yenyangenunua pira kufanyua discount. Ukitoa hii, ulipata, there is more 35 bananas. There were more 35 bananas. 
so what you do you put it here you cut the lcm or instead of using the lcm you take the lcm and multiply every term with the lcm so or i can use whichever you can use n so the lcm is x minus 3 raised to power x so this one goes here how many times uh, x times so we will have 2100 x minus uh, this goes here how many times this goes here uh, x minus 3 times 2100 is equal to how many times does this one go if we use this one the minus is going to end so we will have 2100 x minus uh, this minus this is going to be plus uh, this minus this is going to be minus 200 2100 x and negative times a negative is going to be plus 63 3 times 21 is 6300 uh, we can use is equal to 35 now we multiply the lcm to the other side which will end now this times this is x square this times this minus dx now uh, this this minus this it will come to an end so we will have 6300 is equal to uh, 35 square minus this times this is going to be 105 x 105 x uh, so we will form an equal a quadratic equation so this one is going to be 35 x square so 35 x square uh, minus 105 x uh, minus 6300 is equal to 0. This is the same as you divide by 35 everywhere. You get that x square. Mm, x square. Mm, x square minus 3. X minus 180 is equal to 0. Now we can solve this quadratically. You can use the quadratic formula. Or you use the factor uh, factorization from in the one you learned in form two. So finally, you will find that the x plus twelve x minus fifteen is equal to zero. So you will find that x is equal to negative twelve. This one or x is equal to fifteen. So this one is not applicable because there is no way bananas are going to be or the value in Kenya shanks will be negative. So it means the value of x is 15. So the question was form an, and hence determine the actual number of bananas in Emma boat. So the actual number of bananas in Emma boat was 21 divided by x minus 3. So that is 2100. That is 15 minus 3. That is 2100 divided by 12. And the actual number of bananas she bought is 175 bananas. 175 bananas. The bananas were given to students in a school. Two fifths of the students got two bananas each, while the rest got a banana each. Determine the number of students in the school. So we let the number of students be k. So meaning two over two fifths, two over five k. 
walikula ndi zingapi mbili mbili so we multiply times 2 uh, then we add the rest it is 2 over 5 what is remaining it is 3 over 5 that is remaining 3 over 5k got one each but the total of the bananas is 175 so this is 4 over 5k plus 3 over 5k which is equal to 175 we can get the lcm here this one is going to be 7 over 5k is equal to 175 so you can get the reciprocal of this so k is equal to the reciprocal that is 5 over 7 times 175 and k is equal to 125 students k is equal to 125 students Number nine, 21, the end of terms test score of 100 students were recorded as shown here. State the model class. The model class is the class that has got the highest frequency. Number of students is our frequency here. This is the frequency. So, Nigani Kokuba Kabisa ni 32. 32 is the highest. Therefore, the model class is 60, 69. That is the model class. Calculate the median score. To calculate the median score, we need the cumulative frequency. The amount of immature here, the cumulative frequency. So the cumulative frequency is 8. 8 plus 10, it acquire 18. 18 plus 28, it acquire 46. Uh, 46 plus 32, 78, 90, and then 100. So that is the cumulative frequency. So you remember the formula for getting the median? The median, you can get it by low L plus N over 2 minus C divided by F I, whereby I is the class interval, frequency is the frequency in that class, N is the total of, uh, frequency divided by 2, and then C is the cumulative frequency above the class, that class. And then this L is the lower limit. So first you need to calculate that. Uh, 100 divided by 2, this one is the, 50, the 50th student. So the tunangalia kwa kumutu frisi, tunampata the 50th student wapi, 46 equals so ako kwa hii 78 up and down. So in meaning the class is going to be here. And the lower limit is 59.5. So L is 59.5 plus into N divided by that is 50 divided by, that's 100 divided by that is 50 minus C. Cumulative frequency above, cumulative frequency above in 46 divided by the cumulative frequency in that class, the frequency in that class is 32 times the class interval, class interval 39, that is 10. So this one is going to give us 60.75 as the median. Lakini ukiona utaweza kufanya hivi kuna hii itapidi uchole Ukiona kufanya hivi ni ngumu itapidi uchole akakatebu Ukwena class, ukwena frequency, alafu ukwena cumulative frequency, ikiwe na teremuka, sawa. So, uh, our 50th, our the position is the 50th. So, 50 inapatikana, si kwa 48, inapatikana hapa. Kwa hivyo inapatikana hapa. The lower limit ni 50. The lower, kwa hii class, our class is going to be here. The median class ni hii. Kwa hivyo, the lower minute, uh, limit is 59.5. Dio mana tumeweka hapa 59.5, sawa. And then, uh, nikasema this is n divided by 2 that's 100 divided by 2 in 50 and uh, this one was c the cumulative frequency above 30 class our class will require here the cumulative frequency above in 46 and 
and then divide by require f the frequency in 30 class this class the frequency is 32 and then i is the class interval which is 10 on the grid provided represent the above data using an histogram histogram kuwa inachorwa frequency against lower you start with a lower limit so for example here we have 39 that is the lower limit here is the 29 so we are going to start here with 29.5 we are going to start with 29.5 after that here we are going now to put the the next one is 40 what is the lower limit of 40 it is that nine that, that 9.5 so the next one is going to be that 9.5 49.5 59.5 because the class interval is the same 69.5 all the way 70.5 uh, 79.5 89.5 so from here we have eight so here you can have one two three so we cannot have two because this one is nafika the highest is 32 so i can have if this is 10, 20 equals hour. So 10, 20, 30, 40. So 8, this is 5, 6, 7. The first one is the frequency is 8. So it is 8 is here. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 is there. You draw this one and then you shade this one. That is the histogram you're talking about. That 9. The next class is 10, so 10 is here, that is 5, 10 here, you draw that, you draw this, and then you shade this one. The next one is 28, 28 is 20, 25, 28 is here, you join this, you join this using a ruler, and then you shade this. Uh -huh. The next one is 32, 32, this is 30, that one, 32 here, you draw this, you draw with a ruler, and you shade. The next one is 12, the frequency is 12, so this is 12, 10, 11, 12 is here, you draw with a ruler, you shade like that. The next one is 10. 29 uh, 10 is here you draw this and there you are you are done so after you have done that use the histogram to determine the number of students who scored uh, 71.5 to 76.5 71 to 6.5 lies between where in a lie or which uh, in a lie hapa in a lie hapa koi box hapa 69 79 in a lie hapa so what is the height of that the height of this is and that is 12 so it's going to be 12 times the over 10 because of the class interval uh, then uh, times the height that is 76.5 minus 71.5 which is equal to 5 times 5. This one is going to be 60 over 10 and it gives you 6 students. It gives you 6 students. Number 22. The following figure shows a quadrilateral PQRS and a circle passing through the vertices 
Uh, this one is equal to this. The most important information here is that PQ is equal to PR. PQ, so this and this, they are the same. So if we have 65 down here, it's also this angle is 65. And if this is 65, 65, this angle here is 50. 180 minus 130. And that one, that is the most important information that you have there. So calculate the length QR. We want to calculate the length QR. We are going to use the cosine rule and the sine rule to calculate this. So if I use the sine rule, I will say that QR divided by sine, QR, angle, the angle here is equal to 50, so sine 50 would be equal to <coughs> uh, P, I can take PR or PQN, PR equal to PR and PR is 2.7, 2.7, 2.7 divided by sine 65. So the cross multiplication QR sine 65 is equal to 2.7 sine 50. So if I read this one here, QR is going to be 2.7 sine 50 divided by sine 65. QR is equal to 2.282 centimeters. You can as well use Pythagoras theorem. You can as well, so this is method one, method two, you can use the Pythagoras theorem where you will use you will cut this uh, triangle into two this triangle you will cut it into two and you will have a right angle triangle like this so from here up to here is 2.7 the angle here is 65 so we are looking for this angle here which if we you cut it you can give it this one as even o yeah you cut it like this you will have o r so o r and then we have p so you use sokatoa so ka toa it's going to give you so you use cos cos 65 is equal to uh, x divided by which is cos is adjacent is adjacent of hypotenuse which is 2.7 so you are going to get that x is equal to 1.141 but that one is from here up to the center here o oh. So, lakini tunataka kutoka mbaka hapa, so you times 2. So, QR again is equal to 2.8, uh, 2.282 centimeters. You can as well use this one or this. Calculate the angle PRS. PRS, we want PRS. The angle PRS, P. R S we want this angle here P R S this angle here we want this angle how are we going to angle if this is R this one is going to be small R this is S this one is small S and this is P this one is small P so since we have everything there we can get R Using the cosine the cosine rule, R square is equal to R square is equal to P square plus S square minus two uh, P S cos R cos R. Yes, that one is going to give us the answer there. So six square because R is six. R is a 6 from here up to here. You can see that. It's equal to P square. Our P square is 7 square. Times, this is multiplication. Times S square which is 2.7. Minus 2 times 2.7 times 7 cos R. This is 36. is equal to 
the total of this one is going to be 56.29 minus 37.8 cos r. We write terms together, you take this one on this side, you find that 36 minus 56.29 is equal to uh, negative 37.8 cos r. So this one is negative 20.29 is equal to negative 37.8 cos r. We will remove this one here, we divide it by that 7.8. You find that the cos r is equal to 0 0.53677. But since we want r, that one cos inverse, uh, so r is equal to cos inverse this one. Uh, 0 0.53677 and that one gives us 57 57.54 degrees 57.54 degrees Determine the area of the circle. So for us to get the area, we need the radius. But we know that A over sine A is equal to 2 radius. So in this case, we are going to put what we have been given, that R divided by sine R, the answer is going to be 2 radius. So, so R is a 6 divided by sine 57.54 which is equal to 2 radius uh, so once you calculate this one you are going to get that 2 radius is going to be 7.111 meaning that the radius is going to be a half of this which is 3.555 so that is the radius but we know the area of our circle is given by, by r square which is now 22 over 7 times 3.555 square. And this one will give us that 9.73 centimeters square. Number 23, the displacement x meters of a particle moving along a straight line after t seconds is given by, let me write, x is equal to t raised to power 3 over 3 minus 3t square plus 9. I want to make it clear. Determine the values of t, of t when the particle is momentarily at rest momentarily at rest. So first, uh, when the particle is at momentary rest, we first get the velocity. How do we get the velocity of uh, this one? We differentiate the dx over dt, and this one is going to give us the differentiation of this. How do you differentiate? E number in a kujab in a quad 3, t up on a minus 1 in a back 2, divided by 3, minus e times in a quad 6, t, t square, a2 minus 1, it's a back 1, so in 1, in a back, in a isha evil. Like in a in a in a isha, therefore, velocity is equal to t square minus 60, that is velocity. Um, but at rest, at rest, velocity is equal to 0. Momentary at rest velocity is equal to zero, meaning we are going to equate this velocity with zero. T square minus 6 T is equal to zero. We can factor out T. We have T minus 6 is equal to zero, meaning T is equal to zero or 
t minus 6 is equal to 0. And this one is going to be t is equal to 6. So time is going to be 0 seconds or time or is equal to 6 seconds. The values of displacement x when uh, x meters by the time the particle comes to rest. So the displacement there, we need to substitute the values of t on this displacement. This one is displacement. So when t is equal to 0, we are going to have x is equal to 0 over 3 minus 3, 0, raised to power 2, plus 9. So x is going to be 9 meters. When, uh, when t is equal to 6, so x is going to, you substitute on this equation here, you substitute on this equation. So we are substituting here, we will have 6 raised to power 3, divided by 3 minus 3, t is 6, 6 raised to power 2 plus 9. So this one is going to give us negative 27 meters. Negative 27 meters. Determine the values of t when the velocity of the particle is negative 5 second. The velocity. So we have, we know the velocity is velocity is equal to t square minus 60. But we have been given now t square minus 60 is equal to negative 5. This is the same as t square minus 60 plus 5 equal to 0. So we can use the quadratic formula. t is going to be negative b plus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. We use this formula. To get t is going to be 6 plus minus square root 36 minus 20 divided by 2. Therefore, t is equal to 6 plus or minus 4 over 2. t is equal to 5 or t is equal to 1 second. t is equal to 1 second. Determine the acceleration of the particle at t is equal to seconds. Acceleration, remember acceleration, you differentiate velocity. So acceleration is equal to d, uh, dt over dv. Mm -hmm. uh, so this one is going to be uh, dv over dt, sorry. Mm. It's going to be dv over dt. So we differentiate t square minus 60. You differentiate that. This one is going to be 2t minus 6. So acceleration is equal to this. So we want acceleration when t, when t is equal to 2 seconds. You substitute here. 2 into badaraya t. Now we t is equal to 2 minus 6. So that is 4 minus 6. So the acceleration will be negative 2 meters per second square. Meters per second square. The, this question, in this question, use a ruler and a pair of canvas only. Line PR PR is the diagonal of a quadrilateral PQRS. P, this is 6 centimeters. So the first question is, locate the vertex Q of the quadrilateral PQRS such that angle P, this angle P, is equal to 60 degrees, equals to 60 degrees, and angle R, is equal to 45 degrees. So we are using a pair of compass, we are using a, a ruler 
and a pair of canvas only. So we start by drawing 45. First, to draw 90, you stand here, make a point here, like this, make another one on the right side. Then, extend this line that we were given, so that we can draw, be able to get 90 degrees. We are doing this because we want to draw 90 degrees, and then we will bisect the 90 degrees to 45. So once you have done that, you stand here at this point. You open the pair of compass. You mark up there. You stand here, the same radius. You back there. You bring your ruler. You draw a dotted line 90 degrees here and there line 90 degrees like this so now we have 90 degrees but what we want is 45 so you stand here you can just extend it and then mark like this we are bisecting this angle you stand at this point here you mark up there you come to the same radius, the same radius, you stand there, you mark here. Now you draw, you join from here and the middle of this point here. Like that. But we don't know where uh, the third vertex uh, Q is, so we leave at that point, we, we come and draw P, which is 60 here. How do you draw 60? You stand at this point, open the, the pair of compass like this, mark here, uh, mark here, like this, and then bring the same radius pira kugeuza hiyo, kwa makupadilisha, simama hapa, mark pale. Confirm that you just song, I just song need. Now you join this from P, you join this point here. So this is our Q here, where they are meeting. That is where we have our Q. Then we have been asked to measure, complete, we have completed and measure PQ. We want to measure PQ. You open your pair of compass like this. And then measure PQ. Measure PQ. Good, take your ruler. You can see mine is 4.3 there. So for this one is 4.3 centimeters, right? 4.3 centimeters. We go to the next question. Diagonals QS, so there is S which we don't know where it is. Diagonals QS, which is 10 centimeters long, intersect the diagonal PR at a right angle triangle. Complete the quadrilateral of uh, PQRS. So, to me, I am EQ, na yu maali S, inaenda yu diagonal, inakutana kwa hii line at, at the right angle triangle. Kama ni right angle, so tunasimama hapa, tunadrop hapa pendikula hiya. Simama hapa. A pair of compass yako there uh, mark a point here mark a point there you can draw an hack of this nature like this once you have done that you stand here at this point mark the limit you by do this you mark there you stand at this point again you mark here 
So once you have done that, you join this point and that point. Now I join this and this point here. This point and this point here. You join them like that. But we have been given that the distance from here to S is 10 centimeters. So you measure 10 centimeters. From here, 10 centimeters is here. And then now you complete the figure. It means S is here. It means this is where S is. Now join this and that. And then join RS. And there you are. You have your marks like that. The last question there. Uh, calculate the area of the quadrilateral. So here we have two quadra We have this uh, triangle here and we have this one. So we can calculate them separately. So to know, we will measure the height from here up to here. So area of triangle, area of triangle P, Q, R. P, Q, R, we have the base, which is equal to a half times six. This is going to be my base. And from here up to here is going to be my height. From here up to here is my height. So you measure your height using your ruler. You can measure the height. Very good. Uh, my height is 3.4. 3.7 my height is 3.7 so you this one here three eyes and this one will give us 11.1 centimeters square so area of triangle PRS triangle P R S the base is the same so we is going to be a half times six times the height from here up to here you measure so it is a half and my the distance from here to here mine is 6.3 so here once here three eyes and this one is going to give us 18.9 centimeters square now you add to get the total total area is equal to 18.9 plus 11.1 and this one gives us 30 centimeters square.